strides for sick kids, an innovative idea to open up hospital beds, and a report on caregivers in Canada. It's May 3rd, 2024. This is the Week in Elder Care News. Joan Tomlinson's aiming to walk 98 laps around the outdoor walking track at Seasons Cambridge while raising money for sick kids. Joan calls it Strides for Sick Kids. Last year, Joan walked 97 laps and raised $1,600. Joan turned 98 this year, and she's aiming to raise $2,098 by walking 98 laps. You can find a link to Joan's fundraising page on our blog. Good luck, Joan. Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare has proposed a hospital reactivation unit to free up hospital beds while also improving quality of care for ALC patients. An ALC patient could be someone in the hospital waiting for long-term care. ALC patients take up 30 to 35% of Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare acute care beds. Key elements of the reactivation unit include a dining room for communal meals, access to a gym or rehabilitation staff for physical therapy, and activity spaces like TV lounges for recreation. Finally, the Canadian Centre for Caregiving Excellence released a report on the results of their survey of 3,100 caregivers. Respondents provided an average of 5 hours of care per day. 50% of caregivers experienced financial stress in the past year, and one quarter reported poor mental health. The Canadian Centre for Caregiving Excellence says the report highlights the need for compensation for caregivers, respite so that they can take a break, easily accessible home care, and workplace policies to support people juggling work and care. To learn more about these stories and more, check out our blog at eldorado.ca.